Okay, here's a question. If I've decided to make a video about the six biggest benefits to stepping outside and enjoying the fresh air, is it not logical that I would actually be outside when I make the video? Yeah, I thought so. So because of that, I've grabbed my camera, my microphone, came out of the office today, and I'm standing here on my back porch making this video that will hopefully benefit you. And I want to encourage you, if you have an opportunity, step outside of your house, outside the office, wherever you are, get a little fresh air, and these benefits, I promise you, will be a part of what you gain from that experience. So here we go. Benefit number one, and that is that being outside can actually decrease your heart rate as well as your blood pressure. Now, I'm not a medical doctor, so I don't have a lot of knowledge in my mind as far as proof to this, but I have done my research, my digging around, and I have found out that it does decrease your heart rate slash your blood pressure simply by being outside because when you're indoors, you're encapsulated in a, in a stale air environment where there's very little oxygen being produced even, just that what's being brought in maybe from an open window or from the air conditioning system, that can actually make your body work harder, particularly your lungs as it's trying to pull oxygen out of the air, as well as your heart as it's trying to pull oxygen or take that oxygen throughout your body to try to benefit each and every cell. So stepping outside, especially in a country environment like I live, where there are trees, there's flowers, there's grasses all around, can absolutely benefit you as far as lowering your heart rate and your blood pressure when that oxygen is taken in. So that's a great benefit there within itself. Now, here we go with another one, and that is benefit number two that comes in as a result of stepping outside or being outdoors, is that it can sometimes make you happier in, or, or better uh, have a, be in a better mood, as well as decreasing the likelihood of depression, anxiety, and stress. Now, why does that occur? Well, typically speaking, being outside will oftentimes expose you, in the daytime at least, to the sun and the sun because of its benefits as far as its vitamin D and all other things including increasing the serotonin levels in your brain can actually improve your move while decreasing the stress. So if you're like I am and you're someone who deals with a lot of stress on a daily basis or you just simply would like to feel better about your life, step outside and I promise you it can help you in a big way. So here we go with another, and that is benefit number three, and that is that being outside can actually strengthen your immune system and sometimes fight off bacteria, viruses, and other things. Now that goes all the way back up to reason number one, and that is when you're in an indoor environment in that stale air, that stagnant air, that's rarely actually filtered and recirculated properly, when you're indoors, actually those bacteria, those viruses, those bugs, whatever you want to call it, the germs, are simply present and your exposure to them is heightened therefore the possibility of you getting sick from those things is greatly raised just by being there but when you step outside where nature itself is taking care of the filtering of that air increasing of those oxygen levels your body gets another chance or a better chance of fighting off those bacteria and because you're not in a closed environment you're not directly exposed to them in the way or for the long periods of time that you would be if you were indoors. So step outside for that benefit. Now here we go with another, I think this is number four, and that is that being outside can actually cleanse your lungs. Now obviously because your lungs are what are taking in this oxygen, they're what's working the oxygen, processing it, whatever you want to call it, being outside is of great, great benefit to the upper respiratory system particularly and mainly your lungs. And so every time you take in a deep breath or any kind of breath for that matter, when you're outside, you're actually taking and cleansing those lungs just a bit. So like I am right now with the past week or so, I've kind of been fighting an upper respiratory infection, a little bit of a lung problem. And so being outside has definitely helped me out as far as taking care of that. And that's one benefit here that we have that I wanted share with you. Now reason number five and that is that being outside can actually increase your energy levels and sharpen your mind. Now I need this every day. I wake up some mornings a little flat, some mornings a little hyper, one way or the other, but anytime that I can step outside I've noticed because of those raised serotonin levels, because of that increased oxygen
oxygen level, whatever it is, my body actually feels like it gains strength. Things get stronger, I feel better, and I can move forward in my day a little bit better than I was before. So sometimes if I'm not feeling well, if I can remember or be motivated to do it, I simply go outside for 20, 30 minutes, take a few deep breaths, enjoy, look around, find nature for what it is, come back inside, and even then, I feel a little bit better. So that's one of the benefits here I wanted to share. And here's number six. This is one that I wasn't aware of until I started doing a little digging, a little research, and that is that being outside can actually improve your digestion process. Now, I didn't know that. Actually, what is recommended is after you eat a meal of any size, whether it be a snack or a meal itself, especially like that supper time meal, when we're oftentimes tempted to get up from the table, go lay down in our easy chairs, turn on the television, something like that. Stepping outside and going for a walk for 10 to 15 minutes is usually plenty to increase the digestion process, make it a little bit easier on your body. There, henceforth, a benefit to that is you could actually begin to lose a little bit of weight. Now, not just just from the exercise, but being outside where your body, where your mind, where your brain is telling your body just to go ahead and get that um, digestion started, just to get things going. Maybe it has something to do with your metabolism. I don't know, but it's proven to be a medical benefit. So because of that, hey, I add it to the list and I encourage you to do that today. And I hope this helped you in some way. It's not directly heart related as far as the transplant process or anything like that, but all of us as transplant patients, if we can find any way in life to benefit, to regain our strength, we certainly want to do it. So I appreciate you watching today. If this has helped you in any way, how about like, subscribe, and share? And while you're subscribing, how about hit that bell notification? That way you'll be notified every time I attempt to put out content, which I hope will advocate, educate, and motivate you as a transplant patient. And until next time, stay stronger, friends.